In today's video, I will show you the 5 steps I use to get over 10,000 followers, 300,000 views in just 2 weeks using AI tools. Step 1 is gonna be to pick a niche. This is quite important because you need to find a niche where you can actually get some views. So here I'm just gonna go brainstorm 20 popular wide audience niches uh, on Instagram for reels. You can also try to niche down and go more specific, but if you want a lot of views, you can do this. And you can just keep brainstorming here until you find something you like. Try it out and see if it works. So you can see here, uh, a lot of good suggestions here. Just keep iterating until you find something you think is good. Uh, let's move on to step two. And that is gonna be, of course, brainstorming video ideas when you have picked your niche now. You are ready for that step. So here I have the prompt, just ignore all previous instructions. You are a creative researcher and exceptional writer. You write very intriguing short conspiracy mystery stories. That is kind of our theme, right? About a given topic in a short form videos. Think outside the box. Be creative. Brainstorm 10 video ideas for Instagram Reels. That can be around 60 to 19 seconds long. Okay, so I'm just going to click submit. Uh, you can, of course, adjust this. You can use the ChatGPT default here. You can use GPT-4. I just prefer using the code interpreter for this. That is just my personal pick. So here you can see brainstorm 10 ideas about some mystery conspiracy ideas. The Vanishing Artist, Silent Phones, Library Secret Room. Uh, for exactly 8 minutes and 46 seconds, every phone on earth stops working. Okay, why? You can see. We get some good ideas here, so you can just do this until you find something you like. And then you can move on to step 3. And that is gonna be writing the story. So you can see we have this prompt. Ignore all previous instructions. You're a creative exceptional writer. Write short conspiracy mystery stories about a given synopsis for short form videos. Think outside the box, be creative, write in a very conversational way. Synopsis equal, and here we're gonna go up again to find our ID here. So we're gonna copy that, we're gonna go back down. Synopsis equals that. Write the story, 60 to 90 seconds long, no dialogue, just tell the story, okay? And there we have it, this is kind of perfect length. I think this is around 60 seconds, yeah, sounds good. Next step now is gonna be to take this over to 11 Labs to actually create the voiceover. Just take a bit of it and I can show you. So I'm just gonna head over here to 11 Labs to create the voiceover, right? So we're just gonna paste in that and I'm gonna generate and let's have a listen. The world was buzzing with the usual digital chaos. Texts sent in rapid succession, calls connecting loved ones, and social media notifications dominating every smartphone screen. Suddenly, Everything went eerily quiet. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Of course, if we're gonna use this, we're gonna grab the whole story, paste it in here, and just download that mp3 file. The next step now is gonna be to start creating images on Mid Journey for the story I have here. So this is just an example of a story I did. So you can see we had Cedarville 2022, Mark Thompson wants the golden boy of Cedarville High. He's been a football captain, prom king. Uh, so we kind of have a, a guy or a, like a, a young student here we have to create. Mark Thompson. So what I do then is I just went over to Mid Journey and I started creating. So here I did like a handsome African American male, 22 years old, realistic photo. Uh, and I just grabbed this photo here. Yeah, that looks fine. So what I want to do now when I want to use him. So you can see here in the story that he's the prom king, right? So my thinking here was uh, I kind of want to use this image here, right? In uh, a different setting. You can see here. I just took this prompt here, right? Copy that. And I click on very strong here. Just pay, take out this. And then we can see, we can do the same prompt. We'll just add in like, in a suit, full body image. So we submit that now. And I ended up with this image, right? So you can kind of see the resemblance here from this. Right? Over to this. So th that is how I kind of use the same images in my stories. So we can kind of get some consistent, that makes it much more realistic and interesting when creating stories so you can use consistent images of people. And you can do this with other things too. Uh, so another thing I do is, I just look at the story here so you can see, but as the years went by after graduation, Mark became increasingly consumed by the allure of the dark web. So what I do then is you can see here, uh, American male, black hoodie, back to viewer, sitting at a computer, computer desk, bedroom, realistic photo. And we ended up with this image right here. So this is kind of something I wanted to use in the story, right? Kind of guy sitting in his bedroom, looking at his computer from behind. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, so I just go ahead, I look at the story I have, uh, I look what kind of images I want to use in this. 
So I just create simple ESC prompts uh, from the story and just save them. You can go as far as you want with this. You can keep it quite simple. You can go into very detail to get the best images, right? And you can see we have different variations of Mark here. So I think this worked out pretty good. We can put him in different situations and stuff. So that is how kind of I create these yeah, consistent characters in my stories. And now that, let's say you have every image you wanted to use, you have the voiceover, we want to add some music, we want to put everything together, right? I, I use Premiere Pro, you can use any video editing software you have. And you can see here, over on Premiere Pro, you can see here I put everything together. Here you can, just take a quick look at the start here. So here you can see I use the image here, I use some text, I use some... Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna listen to this, but here you can see the three first images I'll show you, right? So we used like the, the first image, we used the second one where he's sitting in his bedroom. Here's like the prom kim image, right? So yeah, this is just the way I use this. You can also use some videos. So you can see in the first image here, uh, first scene here, I used like an image of a town. Here I used like a small video I found on YouTube about some students and stuff, right? So it's pretty up to you how you want to do this. Uh, but basically, this is how I do it. Um, I think it's quite easy. Like, just be a bit creative. Just find images you think fit the story and just put them in here. Uh, you don't need videos. You just use this. If we look at this, the only thing I use here on effect is we have this zoom effect. So I just zoom in a bit on the image to make it look alive, right? Uh, and that's basically it. That is the whole story. So I think we just got to listen to it before I show you a couple of other things that is important in step four and five. Okay, so let's have a look at kind of the final result here and see how everything lines up. Cedarville, 2018. Mark Thompson, once the golden boy of Cedarville High, now lived a shadowy existence in his childhood bedroom. He had been the football captain, the prom king, the guy every other student either wanted to be or be with. But as the years went by after graduation, Mark became increasingly consumed by the allure of the dark web. Rumors whispered through town of Mark's obsession with finding a secret society, a clandestine group that existed only in the darkest corners of the internet. His parents watched with growing concern as their once vibrant son retreated further into himself, sleeping through the daylight hours and spending his nights bathed in the eerie glow of his computer screen. One fateful morning, the routine silence of the Thompson household was shattered by a heart-wrenching scream. Mark's mother, entering his room to rouse him from his sleep, found his bed empty. The room, usually a chaotic mess of discarded snack wrappers and tangled cables, was eerily tidy. The computer screen displayed a cryptic message. When the digital sun sets, the hidden realm awakens. The small town was abuzz with speculation. Had Mark finally found the secret society he had been so desperately searching for? Or had the relentless pursuit driven him to a breaking point, causing him to flee from the life he once knew? Weeks turned into months, and no trace of Mark was found. Some say he was initiated into the secret society, now living a life of opulence in an unknown city. Others believe he suffered a mental breakdown, wandering aimlessly, haunted by his own obsessions. Yet hope flickered when an obscure online post appeared on Reddit. The digital sun has now set. In shadows, I found truth. The post was signed, MT. Yeah, that is it. So I think it turned out pretty good. You can saw the, kind of the last image I did here. Let me show you. Uh, so this was just like a, a Reddit post. I just edited in the inspection terminal, right? So you can see I kind of added the... I found a Reddit channel. I just added some text on top of it here. So I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, but that is basically the whole process, how I create these videos. And for me, it's been working very well. I just have a couple of more things I wanted to show you. Let's move to step four. And that is going to be collecting all the data. So you can see here, I have the titles of every video. I have the stories. I have the video duration, the views on TikTok, Instagram, Instagram Reels, likes, and everything we need here. So you can see kind of in total, we have about yeah 420,000 views. Uh, and we got some good likes, like Instagram is the biggest, but we got some traction on TikTok too. Uh, and this is good because we can use actually code interpreter to kind of iterate on this so we can look at the best performance to kind of emulate the stories that is performing the best. So let me show you how I do that. So here you can see I have uploaded the file here on ChatGPT code interpreter. I just write this, uh, your first task is to look at the previous stories I have uploaded. Uh, they come with views, likes on different platforms. You need to find out what stories is performing well. From the best performing data, brainstorm, find new ideas for our next video. 
And here you can see Code Interpreter looking at all the data here. So here are the top performance based on total views, uh, on, on total likes, and it creates, uh, yeah, here you can see five new ideas. We got five new ideas here into thin air, tales from time capsule, silent symphony, uh, and said, I like stories about strange behavior instead, like coming mentally ill, brainstorm five of those. And then it kind of iterates on the best performing. We get the same style. So here you can see silent whispers. Yeah. Basically, I think this is a very good to do it because uh, then you will always kind of iterate on best performing content. This can really nail down the content that is performing well. And hopefully, like every video you can cre you create can perform as well or better as the previous one, right? So that is kind of my strategy. And yeah, I think if you follow this strategy too, with kind of your own ideas, like you learn the tools, you yeah, you kind of iterate on the best performing data. I think everyone has a good chance of actually performing as well as my videos have. I don't know where this is gonna take me. Uh, I'm just gonna keep posting, be consistent. I think that's also important too. Maybe do a couple of weeks, do one every other day. That is totally up to you. Try out what's working best, right? Uh, I don't think you have to do one every single day. I do kind of two to three a week. And it seems to be working fine for me. Uh, but yeah, that is basically what I want to show you there. The five steps I have used using AI tools like ChatGPT, Midjourney, Eleven Labs to kind of get a lot of followers in not that much effort. Uh, but you got to have some skills in video editing. Uh, but it's very easy. I think everyone can do this. And yeah, if this was valuable to you, maybe give this video a like or maybe subscribe if you want to show more like this. I am considering making an own channel about how I'm doing is all these kind of case studies. Uh, we'll see. Uh, for now, these are going to be on the video on the channel here. But anyway, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon.